Greetings everyone and welcome back to Civilization 6 where uh, we, we are just listening to the tail end of Scarborough Fair. Right, okay, well it's time to pass the turn and see just how much damage they do to this poor undefended city. Oh, it's going to be nasty. I have no idea what happens if barbarians manage to break a city in, in this uh, version of Civ. I kind of don't want to find out either. Um, right, okay. Well... I would have sent it down there, but that, well, that's kind of silly. Could send it to Sparta, get a good old chunk of money from that. Sure, okay, let's send to Sparta. Oh, yeah, to 21 per turn. Liking that a lot. Need more housing. City needs food. Yeah. Improvement pillaged. Yeah. Wonder complete. An anime player has finished the Wonder of the Colosseum. Oh, okay. Don't mind about that one. Actually, you can take this this level up before moving on. There we go. And you don't really need you, but I guess I'll start moving you up. I'll move over to that, because we're going to go to war with China. Come on, of course we are. There we are. As for you, let's just move down one and then finish them off. We'll also be upgrading that unit to a crossbowman very soon very very soon uh we could build a farm there that is 100 percent a possibility not going to though we are instead going to be marching um yeah we really need to be down there now let's get down there all right okay i accept all of that money and then we need to get down here if we can as for you fellas, I need you over there. You can get your promotion first. Double support bonus. Plus 10 combat strength when defending versus melee class units. Um, I'm not sure what the support bonus thing is at all, actually. Let's have, let's have a quick look at that. Support bonus. No, it doesn't actually have that in there at all. Let's try to tie in bonus. Combat bonuses? Okay, let's have a look at these. Um, warfare is not practiced by just the experienced and well-equipped. Military history has shown time and time again that combatant using superior tactics, leadership, and terrain to their advantage can defeat a numerically superior and better equipped force. In Civilization VI, it is no different. Uh, I, I'm going to guess that maybe support bonuses are things like terrain and that sort of stuff. Because if so, that would be very nice. Or maybe from having multiple enemies surrounding... I, I'm, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. If you do know, drop, uh, drop a comment uh, on the video to let me know. I would be grateful. But we're going to go for it. And then, with our level 3... Wow, that's crazy. We will start moving out after that. Right, so... Let's have a gander down here. We could go for all sorts of things like builders. Which would be great. But I feel at the moment... Another catapult would genuinely be one of the better things for us to get. Uh, yeah, another catapult, I think, is what we need. And hopefully we'll do alright. Spartiate escalose y esan. Carteros, iscuros, andreos. I'm not sure if this is because I went to war with Brazil or because I killed the barbarians. Either way, you're approving of it, and I'm glad for that. You're making me nervous. Well. My troops are next Twitch to my city. What? Mercy, I asked. Mercy, I found. Alright, what are we going to go for next? Then we could go for castles. Uh, that will give us bonus for culture for the Great Wall improvement for adjacency. Gain the ability to construct a spy if playing as Catherine de Medici. This is recommended for... Yeah, I can see the recommendation there and why we've got it. So yeah, we're going to go with education, I think. 
Right, let's find our units. You've got a promotion on the way. We're going to take one step forward and then go for a promotion. Land and naval units. Yes, go for that. So we're moving forward a little bit at least. Catapult, you need to be on the march. Moving close. I'll take them down to half health straight off. They're probably going to be able to do more to us, but we'll try our best. And we'll upgrade them possibly next turn. Okay. Uh, crossbowmen are almost there. Okay. No healing up. I could move in, just try and attack, but it would just be dumb. I'm just going to sit there and watch for now. Okay. Who's up next? There we are. Fantastic. Welcome. Oh, you can actually. Do oh, you can move with a unit. I didn't realize that. What a derp. Very useful information, though. Right, can I actually bombard anyone from here? Yes, I can. And yes, I will. Oh, good, we've connected. We are closing off routes for other people outside from being able to enter our territory with this. Shouldn't be too hard to get rid of them. They've almost managed to build their wall as well, which is fantastic. Uh, right. We want to plant a mine. What's this? Harvest resources. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, you could if you were building a wonder and you definitely didn't need it. That would be a, a valid thing to do. Just wasteful, in my opinion. Let's get down there. Okay. Okay, open borders. <laughs> they want tea, pearls, swine. I mean, I've got enough of all of them. And they'll give me open borders. 13 gold for 30 turns and 2 gold now. They're not, oh no, they're not asking for open borders for me. They're offering me open borders on this side. Yeah, you know what? You... As I've said before, even though I, I actually feel that this is not that good of a deal for me at all, you're asking for tea, and I'm not going to refuse you tea. Very well, Spartans. I might even keep you around for a while. You're like, <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> you're the only other person I've met who doesn't hate me. So, yeah, it's probably wise to keep you around for a while, you know. It's nice to have friends. Uh, what? Did I lose a builder? What? How? How did... I... How... How do you have a... Why have barbarians got builder units? This, I do not understand. Even slightly. Well, I can wipe you out, I imagine. I don't really want to wipe you out for the same reasons that I've mentioned before, though. Uh, we could repair the shrine, we could repair all those various things on all those districts that have been destroyed, which would take time. Or I could build a builder, which would be great. Or... Crossbowman? Hmm. Difficult choice, that one. I think I would, wouldn't would mind a horseman civilization. needs two horses to train this type of unit. If this city has an encampment, you only need one. Ah, okay, so I need an encampment then. Quiet population of 10 or greater. That sucks. Okay, well, I guess I'd go for a trader because it's probably not going to take too long to get. And for you, I would actually like... Well, if I move over there, I'm going to use up my whole turn doing so. If I move down here, though, I'm at risk from attack from multiple people. But, okay, I'll really badly wound you. Oh, actually, I'll take you out. Never mind then. I was thinking, if I wound you enough, you're going to be dissuaded from attacking me. Move up. Follow up this attack. Okay, we've, we've dealt with the rebellion. It wasn't too bad. It's going to be a long time to repair all the damage, but it could have been significantly worse. Let's put it that way. 
Yep. There we go. And start marching you forth. Uh, leaving you without anyone is a little bit worrisome, but... Wouldn't mind popping down another farm, actually. Let me just see. You need housing more than anything else. Uh, let's go and have a look at this. Population 8. Housing for 9 citizens. If I build a farmhouse, it'll give me 0.5. So if I build 2, it'll be good. As for you, let's continue on the move. March down. It will only be good for a little bit, but... Good. Greece has built the Gudwara, Gudwara in, in peace, my team. one is despoiled by mercenaries. In war, by Asami. one's enemies. Not sure. Okay. 50% discount on all unit upgrades. Yields gain from pillaging are doubled. Uh, well, we're currently fighting barbarians, but I'm actually fighting them with... Sufficiently powerful enough troops that I don't mind going for that for now. No, I don't want the scout to attack. Don't be dumb. Why are you being dumb? There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. We should hopefully be able to finish you off in the next turn. Next attack, rather. There we go. Perfect. And at this point, we're going to start marching our troops over here. Because you were arraying your troops there. And nothing is going to convince me otherwise that you're about to attack me. So I'm going to get into position now while I have the chance. Probably don't have the chance for very long, to be fair. Uh, yeah, we need this one over there as well. It's about time that we went for civil service. And an envoy. Oh, there we go. Ooh. We got two? No, only one. There we go. Now then. We need more encampment districts, and there's nowhere that can build them currently. But we will be building them in both Birmingham and London as soon as we're able. As for you, super don't want you to be killed by pikemen, honestly. But I don't think you will be if I just build this farm. There we go. Is that your last build? It is not, surprisingly. Let's just move in so I can protect those builders. There we go. Perfect. The barbarians have been removed from my lands. Uh, given that, actually, I'm going to head back up here. Where did you come from? Over there. You must have caught, uh, captured one of Sparta's builders. That's the only thing I can imagine, is that you captured a builder. I do not... I can't imagine why barbarians would build builders. They don't do that. That I'm aware of. Alright. Time for us to move. We'll move one, and then we'll upgrade. We're only 100 gold. There we go. Plus 52 EXP. Need more housing everywhere. Uh, we could build a lighthouse, and I could then buy a, a point and then try and work on on the Colossus or the Great Lighthouse. There we go. Let's get that on the go. And with that on the go, let's get down here and start repairing as much as we can. Uh, right. We want you over here. We basically want to make this war bloody and swift. Especially because we'll get access to iron by doing this. Uh, is there any iron down here that I would really want to go for? I could actually settle just around here, maybe. I'm assuming that this is okay. It's a lake. Oh, it's a dead sea. No, no that's not okay. That is not drinking water. No. No. So many builders to actually make use of all of the things I've got. <gasps> Someone pillaged my trade route. What a scallywag. Uh, 
Right, well, let's get up there and deal with them if we can. Oh. Your reputation is forever tarnished! Ah, uh, you... You really don't understand how this is going to work. Okay, alright then, let's start getting repairs going. They're just going to have to move all the way up there and just uh, actually step onto the tile with them and at that point we'll claim them. Uh, and I'm my players, finished, will wound uh, Hagia Sophia. That's a bit of a shame. Increased trade route capacity, that is quite nice. Okay, we can build a market over here. It would take 13 turns, but... Um, build a trader instead, which would be quite nice. Commercial hub investment. Make gold and great merchant points. We can get an encampment? I thought I'd need 10... Oh, okay, never mind. Hmm. 23 turns, though. No, I'm going to go for the market. I want more money. I like money. We go go with the Petra plus two plus, uh, food, gold, and one production on all desert tiles in this city that are non floodplains. Uh, that actually would not necessarily be a bad move. But if I were to build a a city over here now, it would be close in. Ah, uh, they've got floodplains. Um, that seems like something that would just be great for a city that was basically controlling this area over here. What I really want to build a city there. I don't think I do. Like, I really don't think I do. Maybe here, because I would get access to a lot of stuff up there, but... Hmm. No, actually, I, I think maybe if I did settle a, a city around here and then just mostly built up into it and then I had the uh, Petra, that would be a good place to put that. And I am, like, jamming everything in as close as I can. I know, I know. Uh, ancient walls would be a reasonable one, I think. I like the idea of having walls around every city. Being able to shoot the bad guys from my city. It's good. Yeah, not liking that at all. You're moving settlers into my lands. If you do, well, I guess it doesn't matter. I'll just take them back off you. Uh, let me out. Please remove this forest. Yeah. There we go. Sure, let's get right in there if we can. Hello, Scouts. Right, I think it's probably time that we repaired this at this point. We've been sitting sitting on that for a while now. Let's continue to uh, get more envoys. We're only using two out of the six possible trade routes that we've got. That is so bad. So ridiculously bad. It is hard to express it. I could at this point just attack them. If I went to war with them now... Hmm. Because there's not much that they can do. There's really not much that they can do. But I would like my units in, in closer, actually. And I've got only three more turns on another catapult. And that's going to make Taken City so much faster. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Very, very true indeed. Okay, so at this point, mass production... We could build shipyards, plus 25% combat experience for all naval units trained in this city. Bonus production equal to the agency bonus of the harbour district. See, the cities that I've got harbours in, they're, they're right next to fish. Ah, oh, I've been really dumb in my placement, I'm afraid. That hurts a little bit. Um, could go for medieval walls. But what's this one giving me? Venetian Arsenal. Receives a second naval unit each time you train a naval unit. Must be built on a coast tile that is adjacent to an industrial zone district. Ooh. That would be good for my capital. That would genuinely be good for my capital because what I could do is I could build... Uh, 
drag to build a commercial hub there. Could build a commercial district here. Then buy a tile out there. Yeah, that would, that would work, I think. Alright, please remove their life. They don't deserve it anymore. Take it off them. Get this repaired. Now, given your position, I'm actually going to move my troops around a little bit. There we go. And you, um, you know what? I wouldn't mind putting down a farm, perhaps. But now, right, let's continue uh, getting rid of the the forest for now, because this is obviously going to be a place where we're going to be fighting quite a lot. So, it makes sense to try and. Get those walls built before too much goes on. Plenty of farmland down there. Not too much going on down there. We do need to get some builders down there, I think. Okay. Nowhere seems to want amenities right now, which is grand for the for the large part. But we do need to get housing under control. We've got one place that needs housing right now. Um, sure, actually, you can go ahead and link with that chariot for the time being, and then go to sleep for now. Actually, I can just tell you to... Ooh, I need one eye, damn it. And you can sleep until you start getting moved around. Who just got walloped? Someone did. At any rate, though, I think it is time that we start... Uh, are you linked? You are now, good. Alright, it's time that we start moving down here to set up our new city just down there. There's no particular reason to hold off. You've got a little bit more work to do in repairing everything. I'm going to contact you. Cassius Belly represents reason to go to war with a normal warmonger penalty for declaration of war or capturing cities is reduced or eliminated. Declare no, we won't be doing that one. Make a demand. Uh, can I can I not demand that they leave? Never mind. Okay, make a deal. No. Hmm. Okay. Never mind. Maybe I will just go to war then. Given that, I mean, they will have a hard time dealing with this particular unit. And if I move the catapult behind it, no, I I do like the idea of just being able to. Deal with these scallywags over here. Let's fortify you. You've got that one there that I'm not liking too much. Now we'll wait one, one or two more turns. Uh, actually, I can probably just buy a unit. Thinking about it, what could I buy? Nothing that I particularly want. We need a little bit more of everything to be able to buy anything useful. Just buy a knight. Can I bypass the the needs? Uh, maybe I could. Can I purchase anything with this? No. That is a shame. Okay. Well, I'm going to... Just get in your way for now. Try and dissuade you from doing what you're doing. There we go. It's a little bit closer now. Yeah, you have a bit of a risk. By a bit, I mean a lot. You can move up. Hmm. Go for them if you can. You go for them as well. But I worry that they're going to cause me quite a lot of trouble in a moment. Need more amenities. Which city needs more? Oh, damn. Okay. 
So he needs food as well. Yeah, saw that one coming. That's not good. Uh, let's get you going to Liverpool, I think, just so I've got a route there. Go ahead. Got a new catapult as well. You can bombard. I'm going to bring that one within death range. And I imagine I could draw you back enough to finish them off. Hopefully without dying yourself. That would be pretty sad. Uh, let's cross the water now ahead of time. I should have gotten you to be a pipe on me. This is going to hurt, but hopefully it'll hurt them more than us. They'll attack. They may even die on us, which would be good. Uh, you can fortify there. My catapult needs to be down here. It's going to take a little while to get there, unfortunately. But at this point, we can go for a university, which will give us a load more science. Or a monument, actually, at this point. And given that we don't already have a monument here, that's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's absolutely crazy. Let's let's go for a monument here. There are many, many things that I would like you to repair. Let's start with the watermill. You've built your road, uh, your walls, which is grand. Let's go for a granary next. And then find out who needs to move around. There we go. Can I... Do I need to repair that district? Is that... I think that's a district. I think that's an entertainment district. Ooh, claim great person. I like... Who have we got? Oh, great scientist. Right. Uh, triggers the Eureka moment for three random technologies from the Renaissance or Industrial area. Sure, okay. Good. Our dedication to the ways of science has attracted a great scientist to our civilization. Hooray! I am certain we will be able to use them to benefit future scientific developments. I am certain as well. And we are going to use that straight away by moving over here and then... Activating the effect. So, banking is advanced. Steam power is advanced. And astronomy adva is advanced. Wonderful. That's actually pretty amazing. Could you repair the granary next, please? How much damage will you do to them? You'll bring them very low. Good. Can you finish them off at this point? Yes. Excellent. And then hopefully you can finish them off. And we don't lose one of our crossbowmen. Super mega good. I think we can all agree that is in fact super mega good. Script the rest of your turn. You just need to move in there. And on the next turn, we're we just going to block you in. I think they're probably going to try and build here though because... That seems like a better... One of the only places they could possibly want to be. Because if they wanted to be up there, they'd have just walked up there. It makes no sense, but... I'm worried they're about to be annoying. Very, very annoying. Is that damaged? Yeah, pillaged. Let's get over there. And... Not too bad. Okay, they're on the move. Good. The taxpayer. That's someone who works for the federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil service examination. <laughs> okay. I, I guess, yeah, when you think about it. Each city receives plus one culture for each speciality district it constructs. Also, plus one amenity for cities with a garrisoned unit. That would be good. But it would mean that I'd have to tie up my military thinking about it. And I'm not sure I really want to do that. I think 
we're actually okay with what we've got. Though, actually, no, we're not building any builders at the moment. But general points per turn would be nice. No, we're going to go with this one. There we go. There we go. Alright, if we could be over here, please. Followed by eventually setting this up. That's too close to a city. Drat. Really? That gives me fresh water? You're, you're joking me. No way does that give fresh water. Oh, wait, no, 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 it is based off this tile. That's craziness. That's pure madness, but okay. I guess we're going to be building it there. It is going to encroach on this city a lot, but either that... No, I, th I think I'm all right with that, just to get access to iron earlier. All right, let's have a look then. Naval tradition... Boost, kill the unit with the qu uh, quadrarine. I keep having trouble with that word. It turns for divine right. Let's go for monarchy. It seems fitting. We could repair the shrine. With the market, I could build the encampment. The encampment does seem reasonable, but actually I'm going to build the industrial zone just for there. And later on, we're going to get all sorts of crazy, crazy good things over there. Just follow you around for now. You're going... Oh, okay, you're not going to do anything, apparently. Uh, sure, let's move you all the way down there, and then I'll have you just... Sit tight and guard. Right, want you to upgrade for very little money to a really powerful unit. Yeah, they're on the march again. What can be labelled, packaged, mass-produced is neither truth nor art. Uh, I'm not entirely on board with that, but okay. Right, astronomy. Uh, one diplomatic policy slot must be built on a hill adjacent to a mountain. I approve enormously. Um, great merchant points return. That's actually very nice. Oh, that costs so much, though. Uh, I'm going to go with astronomy. I think this is going to be the last turn before we wrap this episode up, though. We're going to work on our monument next. And you are going to move up there and finally found a city. There we go. We've got iron in our, in our borders and I'm very pleased with that. You can go ahead and just set up there. We'll... St uh, yeah, you know what? We're actually going to go for this. The clear form of war. Warmonger penalty heavy. Oh. Whereas egregious. Nah. Alright, heavy. Making this move will start a war with China. I know! I'm declaring a war with China! That much should be rather obvious. Thank you. It is nice of you to give me exactly what I want. Okay. Well then. I could move in there and more or less wipe you out completely. We've got a flanking bonus as well. I believe. Do we or do we not? Yeah, plus two flanking bonus. Excellent. Go for it. Oh, we'll take your settler. Thank you for the donation. Uh, sure, we'll go with you and then I'll we'll use my capital to finish the job. Ah, uh, see, I'm not too certain about just marching in there. Oh, okay. I'm mine. Right. There we go. You're now also mine. Take you out. 
This has not been a bad turn. To be perfectly honest, I'm pretty happy with it, really. Uh, let's uh, bombard you. Start whittling you down. You have got a crouching... What? That's scary looking. I will confess, it worries me. Good hit. Uh, yeah, you you seem to be very, very powerful. I don't like it. I want you dead. And I would like you to move over there swiftly. Um, I can't really do it, unfortunately. Still got one turn, but this one's linked to me, so I'm going to break that link. Can you move any further? You can. Go for it. Do a bit of damage. Reduce the outgoing combat strength, please. Alright, we need to get our troops down there as fast as we possibly can at this point. Uh, as for you... It'll cost a lot to gain some walls, but yeah, sure, go for it. Oh yeah. And with that... We're wrapping up this episode. We've got a couple of new units. I've got a new settler, which is grand, and I've got also a builder over there, which is also grand. I will be moving them down here with great haste, as well as this one, so I can get some iron, and then finally I can start building some really powerful units. But that is it from me. I do hope you've enjoyed them. We'll be joining me for the next. Remember to like if you liked, sub if you haven't. But until next time, do take care. <laughs>